Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today I want to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's go ahead and get us a new run started. And let's try out this Mantis God and Ringworm pack. So we need to get 60 points. Um, it's going to be tough. Let's see. We could do all totems and that would give us 35 of the way. No boss errors would be 50. And we took out, let's say, pelts and the hook, I'll give us a 60. I don't know if I want to do more difficult, per se. Um, yeah, let's just run with that and see what happens. Okay. Here we go. Might try uh, taking the one of the ringworms to the um, oh, and the millworm. Let's take that. Taking it to the campsite and basically feeding it so that we get something out of it. Hmm. Okay. Guess that we will go this route, and when we get to the campfire, we'll try. Powering up our ringworm. All right, um, let's go with waterborne. Why not? Okay, we have a wolf cub incoming. So. Ringworm would block it, but it's not really enough to help much. I guess we can do it, but it won't be much help. Okay. So, how about we put down our Mantis God instead? And that'll be able to take out the Alpha in an extra turn or two. And, yeah. Okay, let's try out the millworm and see what sacrificing it does. Um, oh, let's see. There we go. Oh, it raised the health, but that won't do much of anything. I wonder if I powered up the millworm um, like it's attack. I assume that means that I would get to use it. Um, as well, so you get like both of the attributes. Um, we're not going to scoop because we want to see if we can get excess damage. I don't think we'll be able to, like maybe plus one. That's okay. Alright, we'll just keep drawing. So we'll get that plus one. We do have pricey pelts on, so I'm not even worried about trying for excess teeth, to be honest. Ooh, a cat. Alright, time to boost our ringworm, see if we can have it get sacrificed. Uh oh, it's gonna be a strong one. <laughs> Okay, coyote and a porcupine. Well, could lay down our cat, get us a ringworm on the board, but not a huge reason to do so. Hmm. Our mantis god is going to be like our only thing. But I guess blocking out the attack from the coyote Let's save us a little bit of damage on the board, so let's do that. And another ringworm. Okay. Well, we can use it to block some more of the damage from the Cody, I suppose. Here we go. That'll last a couple of turns.
And another possum. Alright. Um. I think we may end up losing this round. We just have such a rough start here. Even if we get the Mantis God down, it's going to get, you know, damaged. So, um, I don't think that we're going to be able to come out of this hole, unfortunately. Let's see. They're going to do, um, plus two. Yeah, there's no coming back from this one. I might sacrifice that Ringworm that I've been powering up and put it on the Mantis God so it can have a bunch of health, um, when the time comes for a... Um, well, now that I think about it, I don't think I can create its powers, so I just have to power it up. So, let's go with the two. Uh, oh, Dam Builder, great. Okay, let's see. Longhorn is going to be a problem, so I could put Mantis God in front of it, and that'll last a turn, but that won't be quite enough. Um, let's just see what we can get here. Hmm. Okay. That mole will take the damage from the Mantis God, so I don't think we're going to be able to kill the Pronghorn quickly enough, fortunately. We have nothing to attack with. I mean, this might be a fast one. Do you have their angry beaver? Um, put down the millworm and sacrifice our cat and put down our ringworm and sacrifice the two of them for the beaver and um yeah okay i think our only hope is the beaver now just about <laughs> these ringworms that are strong aren't gonna help us much okay uh, we have another possum, so I guess we gotta hold on to it until we get to the next part. Okay, I'm not too worried about excess damage here, so we'll just go ahead and take the olive branch. Let's head towards the fireplaces. We'll sacrifice our ringworm again, or hopefully get it sacrificed. Ooh, corpse maggot along with. Um, a tail. It might be nice to play on something high powered. Give it some defense. Alright, let's try boosting our lower ringworm. Okay, go ahead, eat them, eat them. Oh no, didn't eat them. Uh, they're not taking the bait today. <laughs> Watch this one be a power boost and it dies on the second boost. Nope. Wow. I can't believe they didn't eat it. This is going to be such a lopsided match. I'm I'm not very confident I'll be able to win. So, corpse maggots could go out pretty quickly. We could let the ringworm block some damage, and that'll last two turns at least. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do another draw. Can we get us a cat? Um, well, can't do anything with that yet. Alright, um, let's 
Let's see. I guess we could get a boulder down, block some of this damage. Yeah, this isn't looking too good for the home team. Um, let's see. I should have drawn from the left pile. I think this is probably going to be a dead end run anyway, so let's see. And of course, we get a Semantis God. Now, um, we don't have a good spot for it. Well, I could put it here and it would take out both the Coyotes, so might as well go for that, I guess. And that's about the best we can do. Alright. I think this god should take out um, that Cody in the next turn. And meanwhile, let's draw from that deck. Alright, good. Should get the pack mule in another turn or two. Alright, pack mule, come on over, bud. So we're gonna miss it just by one turn because we're gonna lose our Mantis God now. Hopefully, we have enough lanes open that we can get it soon. Alright. Could lay out our mealworm and get us a powered up possum on top of it. I think we have enough. Oh, let's see, we actually have to do a sacrifice for it. So, um, we can't do sacrifice like this. And we'll put it here. And what else can we do? get the cat down. Hopefully we'll get a lane made available, so we'll pretend that that's going to happen. Alright, and that'll be it. Okay, so let's see. Ringworm could take a hit or two for us. here on this one. It's going to be close. Um, possum can go down and take out the pack mule though. Maybe we'll get something strong enough to turn this around. Okay, we've got a couple of good cards. Okay, what can we play? Well, here comes starvation, so... Let's put in our turkey vulture. Maybe we'll be able to turn this around quickly. Um, could get two sacrifices down and using card counter. Um, have that on the board. And uh, let's see. Could have the bell ringer as well. So let's go for it. All right, that should be enough for us to win. There we go. Didn't think I'd be able to turn that one around. Okay. Let's get us a... Hmm. I guess a great white. And a bullfrog. Oh, 
All right. Looks like this could be a, a, a B attack. Um, I think we'll get Mantis God down right away. Get us three damage on the board. And we may be able to win this just about outright if they don't put something in our lane. Okay, good. So let's just keep rolling with it. Oh, and the Mantis is coming into the lane that we don't want it to come in on. Um, we can put down, yeah, just like that. And um, let's see, could get us a dam started. So that way it'll attack the dam. Um, well, actually we're gonna have our beaver and our Mantis got attacked, unfortunately. Um, but we can also get this going as well, and that'll be three damage on the Mantis God, and that'll get us close to finishing, even though know, we won't quite be there. I think that it'll be close enough. Beaver should be able to finish it on its own, I think. There we go. Perfect. I might sacrifice it for uh, something. Let's see, and this is just a straight up sacrifice area, so who may we want to go? Could use our um, high defense, or raised defense, ring arm, I should say. Um, However, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If I put, if I sacrifice this one and then I put Millworm on the Ringworm and then sacrifice it and I'd give it nine health if it made it to somebody else, that would be kind of sweet. So I think that this is what I'll do for now. We won't worry too much about using those um, fire upgrade places unless um, we must. So. Okay. Corpse maggots and the Mantis God and a rattler that it's gonna hurt us. That's not good. Um let's get our beaver with its dams down. And here we go. Alright. And I think it will just keep it like so for the moment. Okay. Good. We got rid of that first rattler. Hard us to do so, but we needed it. Okay. Um, unfortunately, striking the adders is going to make us lose anyways on our Mantis God. This is not an ideal situation. Hopefully clearing out this lane will be fruitful. All right, maybe not. <laughs> and if we could get our great white on board, that would be amazing. Ah, uh, cat, we don't have anything to really help us. We can pull a tooth, um, but it's not gonna matter. Adder's gonna come down and take out the beaver right away. Um, could get Mantis God down, and fortunately it's just gonna die. Um, yeah, I think that this is a just a loss overall, sadly. I'm not seeing a good way out. Um, Ringworm could take several hits. Um, and we could play Cat. So let's do Cat and put it in front of the Adder, I suppose. Don't really have a choice. And... Ringworm could take multiple hits, um, and we'll play the Mantis God just to try to clear some stuff out, but I don't think it will be able to survive even the first hit, so that's really it. Um, I think, unfortunately, we are just going to be short on this one, so there we go. 
Oh, hey, wizard. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Having a tough run here. I tried the uh, card pack that has Mantis and two Ringworms, and it is not going very well. <laughs> um, let's see. I could duplicate something or stick without... Um, I think I'm going to go with a Sigil Swap. Yeah, this has been tough. I'm trying to... I was trying to poison the... Um, the men gathered around the fire so that I could use the fireplaces unimpeded, but unfortunately they kept buffing up my um, my worms and my ringworms, and one of them has like nine health and the other one had five before I sacrificed it. And I'm also using this millworm card which adds its abilities to stuff. I want to put it on my high-powered ringworm so that if it gets sacrificed uh, to like the mantis god, it'll have nine health, which will be amazing if I can pull it off. But yeah, it's been tough. I'm also playing on a 60-point game, I think, so everything is just really hard to. All right, um, let's see about getting our Mantis God down. Unfortunately, these have Burrower, so I think that they're gonna run around and possibly one of them is gonna get in front of my Mantis God. That's not good. Let's go with this one. Alright, Possum. How about here? Oh wow. Yeah, this has been so tough. Um, could put down Beaver. And there we go. But I think even with that, we're still going to lose. It's just too much power at once here. Alright. Um, well, we can get rid of that adder. <laughs> but that'll be it, really. Man, so tough. That's okay, I'd rather have a bad short run so that I can switch tactics and, you know, like a long bad run that I lose 30 minutes in. It's nice to have it done in 20-ish minutes. Yeah, that was so hard. Um, We'll try this pack one more time, though, and... Depending on how it goes, I may give it up and try some other ability. Okay. So, let's see. How about we take Fukunibi and Mud Turtle, and I want to try to get the mud turtle sigil on well actually we'll go with getting the mantis gods sigil on the turtle and or actually let's see on filled mice that would give us um with fecundity two of them so i do kind of like that a little bit more than the mud turtle it's a hard choice, but we'll do it this way. Okay. So that's instantly a lot stronger than the Mantis God alone. At the price of costing it a little bit more, of course. Um, a dire wolf pup. So let's do our emergency squirrel. And start off with our filled mice. And that'll give us a, another one. And that'll work out, I think, pretty well. Be able to get rid of the dire wolf pup at least. Okay. And yeah, that'll be it, I think. Good.
Ooh, let's see, a dire wolf. I think we'll take it. That um, double strike ability is pretty nice. Sparrows. All right. Hmm. Could put down a ringworm just to block, but it's not going to matter since they're airborne, anyways. Hopefully, we'll get us our um, um, field mice here in a moment. So we're going to need them. Well. Okay. Well, now we're in trouble. Uh, let's see. Mud turtle could counter two of their HP, but that's not going to be enough. Make it, we just got a really bad hand here and no way to really recover, funny enough. Um, yeah. I think that we're stuck. That's weird. Sometimes it destroys these really bad hands, but oh well, I think that's it. I just had to lose this one and maybe we'll have a better hand next time. It's harder. Um, challenges are just getting rough and rough. Fingers crossed we get a golden pelt. Hey, perfect. That worked well. Got very lucky. Alright. Who are we going to put some light on? Um, well, let's see. Could try sacrificing the ringworm again. And if it survives, maybe we'll... There it goes. Now they're going to be um, sick and they'll be gone and we can use the fire um, from here on so we'll, we'll take advantage of that for sure all right field mice um, but they're not ready to deploy yet so let's just roll with the hit here and um, we should have enough power with our first set of field mice to actually get us recovered I think There we go. Unfortunately, they're going to die next to the porcupine. And let's see. Looks like we'll have them back on the playing field just in time um, for another card to come in, looks like. That's okay. Surviving is the important part. There we go. Okay. Here we go. So let's see, we can power up stuff without having to worry now. So um, I don't know if I have anything to do a sigil swap with. We'll keep the dire wolf, I guess, as is. And if this ends up being a power upgrade, maybe we'll take it and put it on our ringworm instead. Hmm. Let's go with Wolf. Another Dire Wolf. Excellent. Oh, power upgrade. Good. So, let's put the Ringworm on there, and that will give us enough to keep going. And only one blood. Not bad. It's better than, like, say, a stoat. I think we'll sacrifice one of these guys and we'll put it on the uh, ringworm to make it extra annoying. That'll make it have more offensive ability than a uh, wolf. <laughs> so that's funny. We can just get its um, health up a couple points. It'll be, I think, pretty viable. 
it got up to be two and three. That's not bad. Um, now we have this ringworm with dual attack. So we can actually get it on the board, and that'll be enough to almost win the match. Or the first phase, rather. I think it'll get us to the second phase um, pretty quickly. So here we go. All right. Good. We only lost one card. Okay. Um, now let's get our field mice going. All right. It's really no reason for him to even continue at this point. I think that this is a set win now. <laughs> nice. Okay, there we are. The hand's starting to uh, hit some maturity, like having that ringworm that could fight back it was awesome. Ooh, we'll get the wolf cub since it has fledgling on it. If we happen to get um, a dam builder, I think that I'd love to use that. All right. Ooh, let's see. Strange larva, Ouroboros, a gek, and a pack rat. Um, what do we have already? A gek with a bifurcated strike would be, or that double strike of the dire wolf. I forget, what is its exact name? Let's see. Double strike, okay. Um, that'd be cool. And it'd be free too, so I might actually go for that. Um, let's do it. Let's see, do we want to do it now or do we want to do it later? I kind of hate to miss a power up event here. Um, I guess let's do it now to be safe. All right. Um, we will put the direwolf sigil on. Actually, let's see. If we put it on the wolf cub, it would be six. So. I think that's actually, yeah, six damage when it's fully grown. So that's probably the smarter thing to do since it only costs one blood as well. Okay, so we've got a Gek that we can play for zero cost. Um, and things are gonna be moving around. So I think that we'll play it over here as far away from the Bullfrog as we can. Alright. Oh, and the adder is coming in now to ruin our day. So let's get our field mice onto the playing field. And that'll do enough damage to, uh, I think, win it for us. Yep. Good. Alright. So I don't think I have enough. I wish I could see what that symbol is up there. I can't tell what it is, but it looks like we have card events and something else. Um, I have no duplicates, and I barely have any teeth, so I don't think pricey pelts are going to work out. So let's go this route and um, maybe make a sacrifice of some sort. Uh, Mantis, okay. I don't know if I have one that I really want to get rid of, but let's see. Um, I guess our Mantis would make the most sense because our ringworm is already stronger than that. So let's do that. I'm having another weird game, so maybe this one won't turn out very well either, but we'll keep going with it. I can tell going the other path may have been better, but we'll see. At least we got us a bone token now. Two kingfishers and a raven egg. Um, well, I guess to that, let's say let's get our wolf cub started and we can get us a gek as well
All right. Good. Too bad I can't get over there to the duplicate side. It would have been awesome to duplicate our strong ringworm. Um, I guess we'll take the mud turtle though and get us a super mud turtle here with our duplicate situation. That way we won't waste the event. Okay. That'll make them worth playing because uh, it'll be able to last probably three turns if not four since it has the shield ability on it. Alright, what do we have? Let's see, a worker ant incoming, they have burrower and a ringworm and another worker ant. So we kind of need to get rid of that worker ant as fast as we can. Um, fortunately, let's see, I think we can win in one turn since we have the geck and we have a ringworm that's going to do four damage, so that's, that's good. I was going to say otherwise it's going to be a hard fight, but that looks like that was all it took. Alright, another millworm. Does your mouth not water at the sight of it? Alright, so whatever gets sacrificed for it, we get two health. Um, maybe I could use that on the ringworm, and I need something that uses bone anyway, so that'll be good. All right, let's get that, and I guess let's get it again. Okay. Ah, oh, dam builder, or corpse eater. Um, hmm. Having that on the mud turtle would be pretty nice. Let's see what we have for insects. So we have ringworm and the millworm. So let's just do dam builder, I suppose. Oh, the glitchy card? It is a random card, so whenever you get it and you play it, or it gets drawn into your hand, actually, I think it turns into um, anything. Like, it'll just randomly pick one and you get to use it. It's pretty cool. I don't know what happens if you sacrifice it or anything. Like, does it give you anything special? But I would think it doesn't. Okay, so let's see, Kingfisher is incoming, and we could play Field Mice um, using Squirrel and Smoke as sacrifices, and that will get us immediately to phase two, and only leave one card to uh, block us with, and after it dies, I could use um, Millworm to block it. Um, yeah, similar to the red eye cards, I'd say. Like, it's just a nice um, random picker, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, well, let's put us a Gek down, and I think it will win with that alone. Nice. Well, I didn't expect it to be a two-turn match against the Angler. That was amazing. All right, let's see. Feeling like it's a little bit late in the game to start worrying about insects. Um, however, let's see. I forgot what totem I had going on there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I had Dam Builder, so maybe it would be good. Let's try. Yeah, it was an easy win. <laughs> Got so lucky. All right. Now we could go up to the, the fire way and maybe try to get our ringworm upgraded again. I think I'll do that route. I see a cave event too. That would be awesome. Ooh, a raven egg. Having it to put on, say, the Gek to get it stronger for free. 
That sounds nice. So we'll do it. Ravens are pretty nice anyways. Ooh, okay. Who are we gonna give some power? Um, let's just do the ringworm. Because we can get it up to four. And that means that it could win against almost any monster. And uh, with the double strike, win in one turn, win played. Okay. So let's get Wolf Cub on and um yeah, let's see. I think that that'll be our best move to start and we can get Millworm to block the Moosebuck strike and yeah, I'm trying to think. I think I'd have to use the um, little fan on the next turn to be able to have a chance of of winning. Because otherwise, if I hit the moose buck, it's not going to kill it. Um, it'll come close, but the moose buck will then kill my wolf. So let's see what you draw here. Feel nice. Um, so yeah, let's just use the fan, and that'll give us enough to um, get past the moose buck and uh, get our excess damage as well. All right, good. So cave event and a duplication and a trade in. Um, I don't have any pelts. That's not super useful, but I think I'd rather go this route since there's a duplication. Three sigils, two of kin. Well, we have, let's see, a bird, two of those, a wolf, I think a, two of these amphibians, and I'm not sure of the type for field mice. Um, and three sigils. I think three sigils might be the winner here. Let's go with it. Oh, yeah. Nice, we got four. Let's see, a dire wolf pup that boosts and has rabbit hole, a river otter that has bifurcated strike and hefty, and a mud turtle that has fledgling and mighty leap. Um, that's an interesting combo, that'd be pretty strong, but the dire wolf pup sounds really attractive having the alpha abilities and making a rabbit so that kind of helps reduce its cost in a way I think I'll go with it okay um, let's duplicate the geck having that no cost card that can fight for us is amazing oh no attack power can you believe that that's a shame Okay, let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, basically made it to squirrel, you're right. Um, that's okay, because I could use it to get field mice and, um, or even play our ringworm and just let it be game over already. Um, so either way, I think that we're good to go, so yeah, here we are. Yeah, this is getting overpowered. Like, I'm pretty happy with it, and barring some unforeseen circumstances, I'm thinking we could win with this set, actually. Give these to the trapper. Bring me pelts. All right, let's do possum and keep going. 
I really need to get my uh, sigil completed. I think I. Well, actually, I'm I'm pretty good at this set, the dam builder. Hmm. Okay, let's see. One moment. Okay, and we're back. So, let's see. What can I do here? We have an elk fawn and a raven egg. And um, I need to get some stuff down to stop the invaders. So, um, the flying ant isn't going to really be worth it. I could get a raven egg down myself, but that's only going to account for like two damage. Um, so, let's see, let's see, <laughs> well, I'm not seeing a very good way out of this actually, um, if we can hold off for just one turn, we could be looking pretty good, so do that our raven egg over here is going to be blocked by the snowy fur and this one's not going to be able to attack for a turn anyways so I could get a flying ant down but I think I'd rather save up for the field mice since it'll attack in two directions and do a lot of damage so let's just wait for that all right now we can get our um, field mice down and I think it, it's going to be okay because I can attack over on this side and take them both out. Um, and go from there. Okay. And. Yeah. So, let's see. I think that we might just be able to come out ahead. So we get four here with the two attack. And, uh, let's see. We also are going to get two with Raven. So I think it, we're safe now. Okay. Excellent. All right, so we can head to a fire, or we could get some more items, um, and we could go to another wood carver or two wood carvers. I think that we'll do a fire and one wood carver. Let's see what we are going to line up. We'll go with another um, canine card. Who are we going to power up? All right, another power up for attack. Um, let's see. I'm tempted to put it on the ringworm again, but I could put it on the gex so it's not a squirrel um, and could actually fight. However, this is a hard one. Let's see, because we can power up whatever twice is the nice part about this. Um, 
Well, the millworm, if we sacrifice it, that would be two power and two defense that it could put anywhere, so I want to go with that. And since it costs only two bone, we could do that pretty rapidly. Ooh, fecundity. I wonder if we'd like that versus Zam Builder. Um, if I had that applied to insects, I could have the ringworm multiply. So we're going to do that, actually. That's going to be really hard for the enemy to overcome, I think. idea of amphibians getting stronger. Alright, let's see what we have. We can't send out a Gek to uh, sacrifice itself right away and play Raven Egg um, right behind it, perhaps. Um, these strange frogs are going to be so strong though, they're going to get stronger in another turn, which is not good at all. See. Well, could have the raven egg go here, and they could only survive for like one or two turns, though. I think its powers become like two and three, and it's gonna lose one right away. And then the strange frogs are gonna get stronger. So that's just not good at all. Um. I really don't see a good play here. Gek could be used to take out that leaping trap like I mentioned, um, and then get another one for the raven egg going. Uh, let's see. Disabling these strange frogs is kind of a priority think because they're just going to put too much damage on me if I don't hit them hard. So let's do something like what I was talking about and I guess we're going to have to do a raven egg as much as I don't want to. Um, we'll get it going like that and continue on. Yep, this is not looking like the best situation here. Um, so if we play the Star Wolf Pup, it's just going to be taken out. So, um, yeah, we've got a Gek that can block damage for us, but um, then we're going to have an Elder Strange Frog that is going to uh, do two damage on us, and we're just going to be in a world of hurt. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're in trouble. I, I don't think that we can win this. Yeah, this is this is bad. I, I really kind of can't believe it. Um, how, how rough it is. <laughs> so, alright. So, actually, we could play a Stringworm and that'll get us to phase two. So we'll use our airborne strike and I think this will get us to the second phase. Or at least very close to it. Okay. Yep. It wasn't gonna happen. I didn't think that it would block it if I made them all airborne, but it was just because of those traps. Wow, that uh, that was really kind of a rough ending there. I can't believe that one. That was wild. Um, here, I'll show you the settings I used that was making this so difficult real quick. I had um, this set on, but I think that I didn't like it all that much, so I'm going to instead probably go back to the uh, inset, insect set. And I had on, I think, all totem battles, boss totems, no boss rares, um, no hook, and pricey pelts. 
and so that's what made it so difficult overall. Um, I think pricey pelts may hurt pretty bad in the no hook. So I'm considering something like doing more difficult. And um, I wonder if I could take out, yeah, I could take out one of those with that. Um, let's see. If we did two more difficults, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to play with it, but I still have four more left to unlock, and um, getting 60 points is a hard combination, so I might try to look up some strategies on what would be the way to get the easiest number of points on this one. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, head on over to our credits and say thanks for watching. It's been STR Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STR Rank, and I'll have a replay of today's stream on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good day.